Welcome to section 4, Git Branches. In this section, we'll be teaching you what a branch is, how to list all of your branches, how to add a new branch, how to change back and forth between branches, merging branches together, and lastly, removing a branch. Normally, we think of Git as a linear timeline. So if each one of these zeros on this line represents a commit on our Git timeline, then this line right above the original line would represent a new branch. So you can see that we're using these dashes to represent a branch that forks away from the original branch. So this becomes useful whenever you're working on the master branch, which is by default the main branch that we'll be working on in our Git repository. And you want to add a new branch for a feature that you're working on or something that you're testing and you're not real sure if you want it to be a part of your main code base. So this is really nice because we can mess around with new ideas, change our code, and basically do anything we want without affecting our original master branch. And then if we decide, hey, these changes that we made are good and we want to use them in our master branch, we can do something called merge and merge the branch that we're on into the original master branch. So in the next video, I'll show you how to see a list of all the branches that you have in your Git repository.